Oh my God. <laughs> Bert put an actual train horn in it. There's a compressor under the back, an air tank, and that thing is so loud. I honked it, my wife almost peed her pants. That horn is hysterical. <laughs> Come on. All right, you guys, here we are in probably one of my favorite pickup trucks of all time. And I've owned quite a few. I've had a few pickup trucks in my life, but uh, this is by far the coolest, hands down, Cooper S pickup truck, and it is for sale. So I talked to my buddy Dave, and we're selling three of his minis for him right now. He's going through some changes, and uh, he's emptying out his garage, and he's probably going to fill it up with something else. But anyway, he changes minis like he changes shoes. So. He said, go ahead and sell the pickup. So we're gonna sell the pickup for $45,000. This is a 1962 left-hand drive, North American Austin Mini pickup truck with all the Cooper S stuff on it, the Cooper S bits, so except for the motor. And we're gonna talk about that. All right, you guys, today's featured Mini is something truly unique. This is a mind blower. I am so excited to show you one of the rarest and coolest mini pickup trucks I've ever seen, and I've been doing this my whole life, and this is exciting. This is a 1962 left-hand drive. Now, I make a big point about that because I'm gonna show you the heritage certificate that I've never seen before. Left-hand drive, 1962 Austin mini pickup truck imported at, to a Los Angeles uh, mini dealer. That was probably Cavalli, I'm guessing. Um, I think it had to be special ordered uh, to be left-hand drive, but that's what it says on the heritage certificate. I'll show you. Um, and I thought that they were all right-hand drive. I didn't think they ever imported a mini into the United States, but according to the heritage certificate, this one was. Um, it belonged to my friend Chuck Helliker up in Seattle. I know that because his name's on the heritage certificate, but I think it was truly built by Bert Lamberet up there in Seattle. And um, what he did is really cool. He took his real Cooper S and took all of the bits and pieces on it off of it and put it on this mini pickup truck to make, if the factory ever did create a real Austin Mini Cooper S pickup truck, this is it. It's got all the S stuff on it. It's truly remarkable. So come on around here. I'm going to give you a little walk and talk and we're going to look at this Cooper S pickup truck and uh, let's take a look. So of course we got the Austin Cooper S Mark 1 badge, Mark 1 mustache. Now this is not an Austin grill. This is actually a Benelite grill. Now I'm contemplating whether or not I should put the Austin grill in it or keep the Benelite. I like the Benelite and I think that back in the 60s if you had the option to throw a Benelite grill in it, you probably would have. Um, of course Mark 1 bumpers, uh, little uh, tie downs on the front, a European license plate on the front. It's got some really cool uh, old school CB headlights. Um, I like the CBs. I think they're kind of cool. Come on around here and look at these genuine steel Cooper S wheels. These are not reproductions. That's the real LP688 uh, with the Dunlop R7 tires. Uh, I love the period correct rear view mirror. Look at this. Stainless Cooper S Mark I trim up over the windows and doors. Look at this. All Cooper S. I mean, this is really mind-blowing. Look at this. Red carpet with the red and gold brocade interior. Uh, we installed the Modalita steering wheel. Uh, my friend Dave is fairly tall. He's uh, 6'2 or 6'3, I think. And um, I'm going to show you how I fit in the truck. Look at this. So what I did was I, I did this steering wheel intentionally with this about a four inch uh, spacer or adapter with a slight dish so that your knees and your legs, especially if you're tall, clear really well. And I think it looks period correct and beautiful. I tried it with the original school bus steering wheel in there, the original Mark I wheel. It was just in your legs. It was really uncomfortable because pickups are tight. And if you've ever owned a mini pickup truck before, it's well, it's pretty tight in here. So if you're over six foot, you really need this and that works really well. I want you to zoom in and check out the uh, instruments. Look at this. Genuine Mark I Mini Cooper S speedometer that goes to, well, technically it's 130, but it says 120. Uh, there's a few more ticks beyond the 120 there. Uh, the pointed bezel uh, water temperature gauge, the pointed bezel oil pressure gauge, uh, flat top ashtray in the front. Now look at the upper and lower pillars are all covered in the black uh, vinyl, which is 
original. That's what they had in the Cooper S. And look at the dash panels all covered in the uh, uh, gold brocade. That's just, I mean, that's so trick. How cool is that? I mean, this is a Cooper S pickup truck, right? That's, ja, I'm freaking out, right? So it still has the little tabs for the uh, canvas cover that would go back there, but you really got to see this. Uh, this, this is cool. What he did was he put a really stout uh, um, truck bed cover on it that is, check this out, ready? Hydraulically operated. <laughs> now look how bulletproof and well built this is. Way to go, Bert. Um, you can literally have a dance party on the back of this thing. Uh, it's pretty cool. He also put a genuine uh, weight transfer style hitch on it. So if you got to haul your boat or uh, you know your dump truck, uh, try your mini pickup truck trailer hitch. <laughs> uh, look at this functioning tailgate. I mean, the attention to detail in this thing is just unbelievable. So I've owned a few pickup trucks and um, I have one now uh, and I love my pickup truck. I'm going to show it to you guys when we finish it, but I love this one maybe even more because this is just unreplicatable unless you have a real Cooper S that you want to destroy, which nobody would. Um, this is a Cooper S pickup truck, right? So come, to, come look at this. Check this out. Look at this, a locking storage compartment. That's pretty cool, man. I like that. That's neat. Um, many pickup trucks aren't that, you know, functional as a utility vehicle. It's a front wheel drive truck and you put all the weight back here and well, you've got, uh, you might have a few traction issues. Look, swinging hinged license plate on the rear. Huh? Gosh, that's cool. I mean, I'm just freaking out. Can you tell? Um, come on around here. Let's look at some more. I like the gas cap. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that gas cap before. And um, another thing that everybody's going to want that, you know, that this truck doesn't have is the one piece bumper. Yeah. If you've got a one piece bumper, call me. I'll buy it. I think Dave will. Uh, I'll convince him to because everybody wants the one piece bumper. So come on over here. Look at cool little antenna because it does have a radio in it. Um, I'm not so sure about these speakers cut into the door panels or pockets. I do like the way that he covered them in the red vinyl uh, to make the box look sort of vintage and old and maybe period correct. But this is, this is, I, I don't think I would have done that, but that's all right. It's got a stereo in it. Uh, you know, tilting seats, of course, battery boxes back there. Um, uh, classic seat belts and a dome light that works with the door pins. Take a look at this. I'm going to push the pin, um, but a real dome light in your pickup truck. Look, I'm pushing the pin on and off. Oh, cool, huh? Dome light goes on with the doors. Well, let's take a look at the motor. And I got a little story to tell you about this. So Dave calls me up and says, Jeremy, I got a mini pickup truck that is all Cooper S, got everything. I, I just scored. I'm so happy. I, I want to send it to you and have you work your magic and do. I, we, I changed the wheels and tires. I wanted real S wheels on there. I mean, steel wheels, the real ones. Dunlop uh, tires. And I wanted to do the thing with the steering wheel. He was complaining about his height. But I opened the bonnet and look at what we find. I. Uh, I called my buddy Dave up and I said, Dave, boy, I hate to break it to you. That's not a Cooper S engine. <laughs> he goes, what? I go, yeah, that's, it's a 998, A plus. Uh, somewhere in this pickup's life, um, when it was sold prior to 2009, before it went to Barrett Jackson, because I could find in the fine print uh, in the Barrett Jackson ad, it said a 1000 CC engine. Um, but all the other paperwork, you know, from Burt when he built it showed the real S motor when it was going together, all the, here, I'll grab it. Um, it showed the real S motor and the description and how this truck was being built back a long time ago. There's the real S motor, uh, frame off. I mean, rotisserie restoration really done well. Um, this, this, you know, as an expert, I can tell you this truck was done extremely well. Um, I, like I said, I'm in love with it, but, um, take a look here. Look at this. So 
This was built in January of 1962, dispatched on 28th of February 1962, Los Angeles. But here's the part that really blew my mind. Specification, left-hand drive, North American export. What? No way. In 1962, I think somebody special ordered this thing in Los Angeles. Maybe it was Cavalli himself, I don't know. But if you got any history on this truck or you know about it, I mean, we do know that it won first place in Denver, uh, Colorado. I don't know what year that was. Uh, it doesn't, I don't know. Um, anyway, it, uh, uh, oh, so anyway, what I was going to tell you was somewhere between when Bert sold it to whoever, to whoever, I don't know, before it made its way to Barrett Jackson, somebody took the Cooper S engine out of it and put this 1000 in it. I said, Dave, don't worry. Here's what we're going to do. Let me write you a quote. I have a real S motor, a real S gearbox. I can build it to be uh, sweet. It'll sing. We'll detail the engine compartment. We'll paint the engine Moa green and we'll make it all original so that as if the factory really did build a mini Cooper S pickup truck, you'll own one. It'll have the real S motor, real S gearbox, power Cooper S disc brakes. Look, it's got the real Cooper S power brake booster, the real Cooper S fresh air intake. I mean, everything is Cooper S about this truck except for the power plant. Anyway, I want to give you a ride along so you can see how uh, the truck drives and that everything works. Um, and uh, then we'll talk about motors, Cooper S engines. But uh, I want you guys to enjoy this ride along and we're going to do some talking while we do this as well. And here, let's make sure. <laughs> make sure nobody's behind us with a horn like that. I think they'll get out of the way. All right. This truck drives really nice. It's comfortable and I'm six foot tall. So um, even if you're a little taller than me, you're still going to fit. Look at all this leg room. So that's really important. Uh, when looking at a mini pickup truck because, oh, I forgot to latch the boot. <laughs> Hang on, here, let me pull over. That was me. It was me! <laughs> Hang on. Well, hey, at least you got to see the hydraulically operated bed cover. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, as I was telling you, it's got brand new, real, genuine Cooper S steel wheels on it, brand spanking new Dunlop R7 tires, which are period correct for the time. They just look like they belong on this. Um, I can't get over the fact that this is a real S pickup and what I mean by that is it's really hard to find the real Cooper S speedometer and the, the, the pod all the pointed bezel gauges the heater the interior this is not aftermarket this isn't even the Newton commercial new stuff this is the real Cooper S interior out of a real Cooper S I talked to a few more of my friends who knew Bert and what actually happened was up there in Seattle he was going through one of the tunnels or something in his real Cooper S and apparently hit something, got sideways and really smashed it up. And so he had written off his real Cooper S and well, he decided to take all of those Cooper S bits out of his car and put them on his pickup truck. And now we have a legit Cooper S pickup. Now they never really made a Cooper S pickup, but if they did, this would be it, right? So. I, I'm, I'm showing you guys how smooth and quiet and comfortable and how nice this thing runs. Um, right now, it's still got the little bone stock 998 A plus motor. It goes great. I mean, look at this. We're hauling pretty good. It's, it's, a, it's a great motor, but not for this truck. This thing really deserves a healthy, powerful, strong, smooth, genuine Cooper S engine. Not just a 1275, a real S motor with a real S head and a real S gearbox and all of the S uh, powertrain. So um, 
then, then you really have something pretty cool. The power Cooper S disc brakes are outstanding. Uh, it has all of the genuine original Cooper S power booster with the fresh air intake tubing and hosing, etc. So what I want to talk to you about is buy this truck for $45,000. Now, it would cost a lot more than that to build uh, a pickup of this quality. Um, it, it could cost you twice that. Easy. And I'm not exaggerating. The price of paint today, labor, everything is insane. And all of these real S bits, just unobtainable, uh, really expensive. Anything with Cooper S on it is, is really expensive. Two, three times the price of regular non-S bits. And, um, you know, that's where this truck really shines, except for that power plant. So my dream is to sell this truck to somebody and have them hire me to build the Cooper S motor and gearbox and video document it the whole way through so that you get to participate in this bespoke build for you and that you get to enjoy your real Cooper S pickup. You get to see it from start to finish, uh, all the brand new components that's going to go into it from the, uh, I've even set aside a set of twin inch and a quarter Cooper S carbs on the genuine manifold and the genuine Cooper S air cleaner. Uh, I even want to retain the generator instead of putting one of our alternators on it because it has a voltage regulator and the gen and everything works, but I envision the engine compartment being all redone and clean with a nice uh, Newton commercial bulkhead sound deadening mat and some bonnet soundproofing paint the Mowag green on the engine, uh, aluminum alloy gearbox and flywheel housing, genuine Hardy Spicer Cooper S final drive on a 310 gear with the cross pin diff. And uh, let's see what else. I've got a whole list, you guys, a whole ton of stuff that I put together uh, because I really do have a vision and a dream for this thing. And I don't want to waste it. I, I really want it special. I want it to uh, document it so that you have record of it for all time on YouTube. And you can say, hey, here's how I had my mini Cooper S pickup truck built. Uh, what I prepared for you guys actually is an entire list. It's pages and pages long, very detailed of all of the things I want to do. Um, I set aside a real Cooper S engine for 5,000 bucks, a real Cooper S cylinder head, cooling system intake, exhaust, Everything's brand new. I want $15,573 for the engine and gearbox, or excuse me, for the engine. I want $6,900 for a four speed, four synchro Cooper S gearbox built to the hilt with all the best components for a grand total of $22,479. All right, that's what it would cost to put a real Cooper S motor in your Cooper S pickup truck. So um, if you'd be willing to do that with me, that'd be great. Now. If you don't want to do the S motor and you just want a really nice Cooper S pickup truck with a 998 A plus motor in it, you can do that too. And you only spent 45,000. But if you're willing to spend another 22,000, now you've got something really special. So anyway, give me a call. Enjoy the video details that I did along with this. And I guess we'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.